Good evening, thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 31st day in the month of July 2023. I am Grace Dokas and you can see first major headlines. Northern Group insists on sack of DSS and Director General Bichi. On insecurity, please set up special protection squad for schools. Currency in circulation rises to 2.26 trillion naira, says CBN. The commercials will be right back with details and many more stay connected. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermodel Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now the details. At least two persons have been reportedly killed, including a pregnant woman along Umahia Enigre Expressway. The incident according to an eyewitness occurred at about midday on Sunday while the woman, believed to be a member of favored women of Onicha, is a LME branch, were returning from Beria in a Boyne state to LME in River State. The accident occurred near Abia Towers in Umahia capital of Abia State when the bus with registration number Abia APR 600 ZY had a bus tire and somehow sorted into the forest, leading to the death of two persons. Arawa Youth Federation, AYF, has said it will join hands with all the Nigerians to demand for the resignation of Director General of the Department of State Services, DSF, DSS, Yusuf Bichi. This is just as the group disassociated itself from a statement purportedly denying the call for the removal of Bichi, stressing that the DSS DG must respect court orders and stop disobeying court orders. According to the statement signed by the President and Secretary General of the group, Usman Ibrahim and Samuel Gudia, respectively, AYF as a group whose main interest is to foster unity and peace in the country, says it will never support impunity. The National Pension Commission has dismissed documents in circulation purporting that its Director General, Mrs. Aisha Dahi Umar, spent millions of dollars on travel during the COVID-19 pandemic. In a statement, Pencom described, said the accusation against the Director General was a figment of the imagination of its promoters. It maintained that Dahi Umar could not get the humanous estacodes even if she spent two years outside the country. According to the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIB, they have received information indicating that more than 2,000 trafficked Nigerian girls are currently stalked in Mali. NAPTIB's Billing Zone Commander, Nduka Mwawene, revealed this during the 2023 World Day Against Trafficking in Persons event in Benin City. To ensure the security of lives and properties in schools across the nation, the Acting Inspector General of Police, Kayode Ebetoku, has announced the establishment of the Schools Protection Squad. Force Public Relations Officer Muiwa Adejobi said the initiative was geared towards ensuring the safety of schools and students. In furtherance of the safety drives, Adejobi maintained that the Inspector General of Police had also included plans to launch a standard operating procedure, SOP, Handbook for the Safe Schools Program. Human rights lawyer Femi Falana has insisted that the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, is, and its athletes can proceed with the August 2nd strike and protest as planned. According to Falana, the exercise doesn't translate to contempt of court. This was contained in a letter from Falana, Falana Chambers solicitors to the NLC by Sam Ogala, titled NLC in Contempt of Court and Addressed to the Permanent Secretary and Solicitor General of Federal Ministry of Justice on July 28. Currency outside banks rose to 2.26 trillion naira at the end of the first half of 2023. The figure is according to the Central Bank of Nigeria's recent money and credit statistics. Currency outside banks rose from 982.09 billion naira 
at the end of February to 2.26 trillion naira in June 2023. The former governor of Beaver State, Yen Som Wike, has said President Bolahamed Tinibu will not regret nominating him as minister, describing himself as a performer. Speaking during his ministerial screening before the Senate, he said he executed and commissioned series of capital projects across Beavers when he served as governor. On entertainment, Nigerian singer Divine Ikobo, also known as Rema, has revealed that losing his dad at an early age shaped his mind. He said he didn't take life seriously until his dad passed away and he realized the importance of family. While in the foreign scene, no fewer than five persons have been killed in Johannesburg, South Africa, after a deadly clash between two rival groups of illegal miners, the police announced on Sunday. Bodies of the suspected illegal miners, according to the police, were recovered near an abandoned mine shift close to a slum in the suburb of River League West of Johannesburg. While in sports, Nigeria will play in the round of 16 at the ongoing FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. The Super Falcons played out a new to new draw with the Republic of Ireland on Monday to confirm their place. The closest Randy Wardrums ladies came to grabbing a goal was when Uche Nakanu's header was pushed into the bar by Irish goalkeeper Courtney Brosnan. This brings us to the end of the news at 8 from Vorigorica Ramager Stories. Norton Group insists on sack of DSS Director General Bichi. On insecurity, please set up special protection squad for schools. Currency in circulation rises to 2.26 trillion naira, says CBN. These and many more different platforms are at www.abntv.com.ng. And you can also follow us on our social media platforms being displayed on the screen. I am Grace Dorcas Nika. Tell us my dress this age.